Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is December the 24th, 2021. Let's talk about Decentraland today. Let's talk about mana. What's going to happen next? I mean, you guys can see from my price chart that I did a price prediction and I was playing in weakness and in mana at that time. Well, is the market bullish now? I'm going to speak on that today. I'm going to give you all an updated price prediction in the market for mana because I want you all to see where I'm looking for the price to go without being confused. I know it. I already know that there's plenty of other YouTubers out here pushing this currency and they're telling you that the market's going to shoot up to the moon and everyone's going to be filthy rich. You'll be able to go out and buy your Lambo, buy your mansion and change your complete life just by buying mana. Uh, let's keep it real though, right? Let's, let's just keep it real and let's just eat off the market, right? Let's just take some nibbits, pieces off the market. Let's take some profitability here and there so that we can accumulate the wealth. Welcome to HFN, also known as Chief of News. Make sure you hit the like button, share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you appreciate these price predictions, if you appreciate the content that I am creating, because I am here to give you all something that you can actually benefit from. I'm not here just to waste your time. I'm not just here to give you a lot of hope and hoping I'm just to think that everything's going to shoot up to the moon. This is not that channel. Now, if you want that, then yeah, you might have to go somewhere else because I don't push that here on this channel. This is not what we're here for. We're here to actually give you information that you can benefit from that you can see for yourself that you can do this for yourself all right so look december the 6th was the last time i did a video in mana take a look i was playing the weakness into the market in mana and i mean it's been weak it wasn't extremely weak which is why i really wasn't massively weak into the market in the central land price came and bounced off of three dollars and now you guys can see that we're kind of increasing in value okay cool the market is telling us where the buyers are at. Do you know where the buyers are at? Because if you do, then you understand that this is going to be a very important part in understanding where the market is going to go next. Yeah, buyers came in at $3. OK, so even though we had our ultimate TP price down here at $2.50, the market has already decided that the weakness only came down to $3. OK, so. Were you able to at least nibble some profitability out right there around three dollars? Were you able to do that? Because if so, that's around twelve and a half percent from when we did our video where the price was in the central land right there on December the six down to three dollars, twelve and a half percent. Were you able to do that? Because if not, you might want to cut the plate now then because we might be preparing ourselves to see a mana go up, right? That's about five percent. If you were to get out the market now, you'd be down 5%, which is cool, especially if you're looking for the price in mana to go up right now. Let me get this out the way because I don't want to get you all a lot of hype. Even if I am playing the strength into the market in mana, I don't want you all to think that I'm looking for the price to hit $30,000, right? Let's let's pull it back. Let's calm down. Let's just keep it real. I'm not looking for the market in mana to hit no $30,000, no $100, nothing like that. No. What I'm looking at, though, is, yeah, I'm seeing strength in the market in mana. Yeah, I can see that. And we can actually predict prices to go up. So how high do you think the market's going to go then? I mean, look at it. This is what the market action in mana has been doing recently. Do you see some rejection around four dollars? What about at this horizontal line up here around four dollars and forty cents? Yeah, those are logical areas for us to see sellers. Now, if we're able to break four dollars and forty five cents, then, yeah, we might come up here and test these all time highs up there around five fifty five dollars and fifty cents. Right. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick in the market in mana. Let's look at this on the three day real quick, because I wanted to show you all what happened on this last completed three day price bar, which is right there. OK, look at that. Even amidst all of the selling that occurred in the manner on these two three day price bars, the market was still able to overcome those who were trying to sell their mana in the markets. It tells us how strong this particular cryptocurrency is. The market is not done trying to go up right now. This is what the market is telling us, especially as we see price maintain itself above three dollars. As long as the market in mana stays above three dollars, I think we understand where we're trying to go. Because that $3 spot is where the buyers are controlling the territory. The buyers are there keeping the market on lock. They are right there around $3. Okay. Now, let me show you all 
the price in men on a five day perspective. See, this is what I'm trying to get you all to realize is that even though we can visualize the market being strong, as you trans transition over into longer time frame, you guys can actually tell how strong the market really is. So this is the five day and I really don't see this market in men being that strong. I don't not right now from a five day perspective. And then you can switch this over to a weekly. Right. I mean, look at this, this market here, man, it doesn't really resemble a massively bullish market. So as I do this price prediction, I'm going to put this all into context. I don't want you all to think that this price is going to shoot up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars because so many other YouTubers are trying to give you all that type of information. And like I said, I don't push that. So let me show you all the hourly time frame here in Mana, because generally the market here from an hourly perspective is strong. So what I'm really seeing is the market being stronger on a smaller term basis, not on a five day weekly time frame, two weeks time frame. I really don't see that strength being that strong there. So when you put that into context, yeah, we're going to play the strength to the market in Mana, but this is not going to be a one of those long term price predictions. This is going to be one on the short term as we continue to see this market strength in mana continue all right so look at this three dollars is where it's at okay that's where it's at we are going to continue to play the uplift price movement in mana until that happens until we see the price do this right as long as the market in mana does not do that break below three dollars we're going to continue to expect us to try to trek higher and then our first spot for us nibbles right there around four dollars yeah we need to take some profitability off right there second area is going to be around four dollars and forty cents simple right most definitely so now that would give us around what from four dollars it's around 11 almost 12 percent movement higher okay 12 percent for us to hit around four dollars and 45 cents let me bring this down just a tad I'm seeing it right around here so like four dollars and 25 cents gives around 19 percent profitability plain and simple now you guys can see it i'm not really seeing a massively weak market i'm not seeing a massively bullish market it's just stable i mean we're just going to meander between you know 450 all the way back down to three dollars maybe even 250 as we break out into 2022 this is what i'm seeing right now now i mean check it out you guys can see something totally different which is fine and it's obvious because you all have your own eyes and your own brain. But this is why I got the comment section open. It's because I want you all to drop me your price prediction as to where you think the central land or men is going to go into 2022. Right. I'm not asking you what is going to be the price in mana in 2100 or in 2050. No, just tell me what it's going to be going in 2022. <laughs> enough people have enough time predicting where we're going to be in the next day let alone the next 10 15 years so just let me know what do y'all think the price in a man is going to be to start off the new year all right so this is it right here okay now it's your turn let me know what you all think about the price in mana where we're going to go because we need to get there before everyone else so that we can win make sure you maintain profitability and as always trade different